would say in general, the, we can keep uh, fresh flowers for about four to five days, depending on the condition that we store them. For example, we need to definitely keep the flowers away from direct sunlight. It is preferably to put the flower or display them uh, in a cool weather, for example, in an air-conditioned uh, air uh, environment. And also, um, it is also recommended that we can also uh, put in some flower food in order to give more nutrients to the flower to prolong their shelf life. We can also uh, trim the flowers uh, every two days in order to keep their fresh uh, and their stem fresh and also avoid uh, the foliages or the leaves that uh, falls into the vase. So all these leaves will actually cause bacteria both in the water and in the vase that can uh, potentially harm the flowers. So it is best that we can change the water in the vase for every two days to keep them fresh and healthy. Generally, roses, the presence of roses, uh, roses bouquet will, will be generally on the higher side because um, the demand is actually really high during Valentine's Day where the supply is uh, very limited. Yeah. So, um, they can opt for a more uh, not so Valentine mainstream flower if let's say they don't want to compete uh, with everybody else. Um, I think a good flower to, to pick during Valentine's would also be like Jeberos. We do have this uh, collection uh, in our Valentine's uh, series as well. Uh, one of it is known as Grace and another one we have it in the hand bouquet called Freya. So both of these uh, designs, they have a uh, uh, very sweet pink jobara in, uh, in them. So uh, some people might think that fresh roses uh, have a, sh a short shelf life, for example, like three to four days, and after that they will build and the, the gift that they're going to give to their loved ones is like gone. So they will think that what's next and how can I give a gift that is uh, impactful, um, creating moments and the recipient can keep for a long time. So I would say an alternative to fresh roses uh, uh, that Bloomlist can provide is a product range called Bloomlist Eternity. So Bloomlist Eternity is actually an everlasting rose. It is uh, being kept or en encapsulated in a premium acrylic box. And what's um, interesting about uh, Bloomlist Eternity is that our rose uh, is uh, everlasting, which it can be kept for up to two years okay, with, uh, with a proper condition and proper care. And on top of that, we can actually personalize uh, your name on the packaging itself and make Bloomlist Eternity uh, uniquely yours because you can have it, um, you can have your name engraved on top and it can be easily displayed on, uh, uh, on your desk or on your dressing table. The most popular color uh, for Valentine's Day, of course, is none other than the red, bright red color uh, flowers. But if let's say uh, you want to be some, you want to be like more creative and more interesting, you can definitely choose colors from like champagne, um, uh, cream white, uh, baby pink color, and also lilac color. I think these few colors are more like uh, subtle, more pastel, and generally the uh, younger audience would love it. I think the rule of thumb is that first of all, fake flower is a big no-no to be sent during like Valentine's Day. So I think a girl, um, generally a girl would want to feel loved, appreciated and they also want to feel the sincerity of, uh, of the giver as well. So I think the types of flower uh, or the colour that you want to give to a girl really doesn't matter as long as uh, you give it uh, with sincerity. Yeah. So one way to show sincerity is of course that you can, um, you can uh, maybe first find out you know, what is her favourite colour and uh, what is her favourite flower and top it up with a very uh, sweet uh, personal note on the message card. I think that would hit the bullseyes.